Good morning, students of Gasparillo Secondary School. And how are you all this morning? Seeing that we have such beautiful music playing in the background, it's close to November. Let me wish you all and greet you all with a wonderful season greetings as we approach the Christmas season. Yes. So let us start with this. How many students out there from our Gasparillo class remember last year when it snow was falling outside and we went into the yard and we built snowmen? No? Wait, that wasn't we? Ah. Ah, what about students from Marabella? Remember when it had ice along Union Road and we took a sleigh ride with the rain day and we went all down Union Road? No? That wasn't we? Huh. Who's this boy? Aha. Uh -huh. Churan. All the way from Mayo. Oh now Williamsville had bargain. Remember when all was small we used to be roasting chestnuts on an open fire? No. Not we? We never roast chestnuts? Hmm. Uh. Stop, well stop, 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 stop this music, stop this music. This is not we, we is Trini. So, you know what, I taking off this. And I picking up this, this is a quattro. Tell me if all you know about this. about that all right pay attention to this presentation coming up here it's all about stenciling let's go lights
So we just had a short video presentation on about four different ways that people use stencils every day. We had first, of course, um, the guy doing stenciling um, with the tattoo. So that's a temporary tattoo. Um, he used an airbrush. We had a lady doing a, a, a pattern on a wall. At home, she was using a roller brush. It had uh, the use of stenciling on nails, gills, or you would know when you go to get your hair do and your nails did. It is a stencil that is used to get to put all those patterns on your nails. And then of course, we are looking in particular to the person that was doing stenciling on fabric to make the cushion covers. So this is what our little introduction to stenciling today. However, we are using the theme of a trini Christmas. That will be our theme for today. We are using the tie-dye material that we tie-dyed last week. We are now building on that by doing stenciling today, where we will be printing our designs and in eventually to the build up in the next few weeks where we'll, we'll be completing our wall hanging with the theme of a Trini Christmas. Down in the back, what it is going on down there? Roshni and Ronaldo. Stop it for me, please. Says Ronaldo Fernandez. He only making the spit and the paper and he shooting people with it. Uh, he like a coronavirus and thing on it. So here what going on? I I I didn't really shoot Roshni. So I I was even at my bedroom over there and Roshni had so big now, boy. She just lean forward, and next thing, what? She get connect. Who you talking about? Head so big. When last you watch your mouth in the mirror, sir? He has so much teeth in his mouth. He top lip and bottom lip social distancing since before COVID nineteen hit. Ronaldo. Take up your stuff and come and sit down in the front where I could keep an eye on you. Up in the front here, please. No. So, oh gosh. Oh, so, oh gosh. Come now, I so, I, You know, we good. You have 10 seconds to take your stuff and bring it up in the front. So, oh gosh. Nine. Eight. Seven. All right, all right, all right. I'll come in. I'll come in. Good. Now you sit down right here and pay attention. Nobody around you, so you can't. You have nobody to harass. And Roshni, you alone down in the back there, so nobody to harass you. Thank you, sir. I love being on my private desk, sitting on my private chair. Thank you. I keep in my eye on you. So go. Uh, I don't say no up in front already. But 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 here what going on? I really didn't do nothing, you know. Boy, I wonder if Radica have anything to cover mouth. A stencil brush is a very short brush. It looks like this. It can range anywhere between 120 to maybe 140 150 dollars for a set of three. But we could make our own stencil brush set using our regular paint brushes that we can get at any little grocery store, any parlor, any little place, anywhere. We could get regular brushes that would look six or seven dollars for one of these. Now, how it is we going to transform one of this into a stencil brush? Let me show you how. 
Now, we want to make sure these bristles on top are sturdy enough to perform that type of pouncing motion. Right now, it's a little too long, it's a little too soft, but it have a little trick in the trade to create your own little stencil, stenciling brush. And here we go. You take a little piece of masking tape, and all you do basically is you wrap a little bit of tape right around the top edge of this paintbrush. Wrap it tightly. Uh, make a few laps around and there you go. Immediately you have a short bristle brush that could give it that um, firm type of stenciling effect. We also want to make it a little bit shorter so that um, you wouldn't be hitting yourself when you're doing that up and down motion. So all we're going to do is take a little knife or a little cutter and you're cutting a line around. Right, and now that we have the handle off, or you could probably use a little saw and get it off, um, we have something looking like a stencil brush right here. If you like, you could use a little piece of sandpaper and just sand down around the edges. Oh, a nice homemade stencil brush that does exactly the same thing as a store-bought stencil brush. This is a exacto knife. It has the exacto blade up on the top. This again is about $30 at the store and then you could buy a pack of blades extra for another $30. And so you're looking at something like $60, $70 just for an exacto knife with a, a bunch of blades. Um, we don't need to buy this right now. What we could do is go to the local hardware and you could get yourself a little box cutter. This here, you push it, the blade comes out, the one blade gets dull, you just snap off the end and you have immediately, you have a next new blade. The last thing that we would need is a, a surface to cut our stencils on. We don't want to go to the store to buy a matte cutting board. If we have our sketch pad available, we turn the sketch pad over and this surface in the back here is a compressed board that can be used to absorb the knife cutting when cutting stencils. The purpose is just simply not to get the blade dull as well as to have a smooth line also not to cut the wooden table that you might be working on. So now, students, very important. We have a tool here that is very, very sharp. So we have to look at a little issue of safety in the classroom. make sure and put your hand in a safe spot to hold down your bristol board at the top so that there is no room for any errors if any mistakes happen here it is easier to just replace the bristol board and cut a new stencil instead of cutting your hands or anything like that so you want to use this knife not like a pen where you would hold it upright you want to angle it down at a 45 degree angle. Remember the underneath here is the sharp area and that is what you're using to cut with. And you are able to cut a straight line. Now, we want to cut this line going across. But we don't want to bend our elbow in a way it wasn't designed to bend. So it is so much easier to simply turn the sketch pad and repeat the same thing pressure slight and you pull what we have just done is cut a simple stencil and remove the positive space we have removed this positive space leaving the negative space okay so we're going to focus on doing stenciling on fabric today and for this part of the class 
I will now be paying you all off with a pay partner so that you will be working in that little group for this project in this class and the groups are as follows and Ronaldo seeing that you have now settled down and you are focusing well I would like your pay partner to be Roshni so Roshni so give me an next pay partner so you know I go really deal with Roshni and them now I so Ronaldo who Ronaldo Fernandez so no gosh don't bring him back in the back here now so really talk to him I don't deal with Ronaldo Fernandez all right all right so only for this class eh only this once for this class I'm talking to Ronaldo eh I'm not talking to Ronaldo after today eh? so I'll let you know So you both will be working today on one piece of textile design with the Trini Christmas theme. Ronaldo, you will have some ideas of what is personal to you when it comes to a Trini Christmas. Roshni, you will have some ideas as to what you think or what represents a Trini Christmas to you. I am given one minute to sit alone and then I would like you to get together with your pair partner and think about together how you are going to put this together on one piece of textile design. Finally, I would like you all to share it with the rest of class. Okay, we thinking along the lines of a trini Christmas. Definitely, we don't want anything regarding snowflakes as a form of a pattern. Okay, so next up, the pair of Ronaldo and Roshni. So, so we are, are we gonna, we're going to put some quattro down in the corner. Music, we are going to have um, Sorrel and thing from Roshni and we're going to and, and make it a, a blend of music, Trini music, Trini drinks and you know we like drinks <laughs> um, for Christmas. Alright? Great idea, great concept from Roshni and Ronaldo. Let us now explore how use our stencil brush to apply the paint onto our fabric. I have a piece of sample fabric here stuck with masking tape onto a little piece of cardboard. Two reasons. One, to make sure it's stretched to the ends and we don't have much wrinkles in it. But two, and most importantly, the cardboard will absorb any moisture from the paint because you don't want moisture spreading or what the correct term is bleeding through underneath of your stencil. And you're starting to stencil with this dabbing up and down motion. We're not going side to side. We're not going crisscross. We're not moving the stencil definitely from where it is. Now, let us try the same thing using a different shape but probably add a different color in there so you start off the same way ensuring your hands holding down one area dip a little bit of paint get rid of the excess in your container or ice cream cover now along let us say we want this dark blue to be faded into a light blue or blended into a lighter blue what we could do is around this area here we could get rid of all the excess paint off of that stenciling brush as much as we could probably on a on a piece of cloth or old cloth or old rag that you have on the side at this stage now where you could barely see that it have paint on the stencil brush you could now go ahead and use a little bit of the lighter blue paint straight from the container Get rid of the excess and you come down in the opposite 
direction where you would have the lighter blue on the top and then around here you start to lighten the pressure that you put with the stencil brush onto the stencil and you just keep going lighter and lighter until that light blue is blended down into the darker blue our stencil and reveal our blend of dark blue into light blue into even a lighter blue or if we were going with a solid color just to recap a few of the words and vocabulary that we use during this class um, where we are using stencils we have negative space your negative space is the space that is around your positive space we have so far on a sample here remove the positive space leaving the negative space as your stencil your design if it's a circle a square or whatever you come up with to represent trini christmas that is your main design or your motif that we stick in with but if you duplicate it a number of times or more than once as long as it is duplicated it becomes a repeat pattern the technique that we will be using is dry brushing this is where you are not adding water to the paintbrush or you are not thinning down the paint in any way to ensure that there is no blotting or smudging taking place on the fabric underneath the stencil and of course with blending where we did the sample here we had our flat color and then we had our blend area now remember there are seven principles of art can anyone here list for me the principles of art mm, ronaldo yes sir uh, it have balance um, it has rhythm, um, it has balance, what, I, I say balance already, so I think, I think I say balance already, it has, it has balance, it has rhythm, and Roshni, Go ahead. The principles of art, it have seven. Um, balance, rhythm, pattern, emphasis, contrast, unity, and um, movement. Your criteria for today's project is important. Remember at all times we're using the theme of a Trini Christmas. To produce a stenciled motif onto your previously tie-dye fabric that we tie-dyed last week but we are using the principles of art to get this done your assessment will include not only how well you incorporate the all the principles of art in your composition but also your craftsmanship in your clean cut stencils as well as how well you were able to get those crisp clean lines onto your fabric without blotting or bleeding i will be walking around looking at you while you work and i will also be doing assessment as i observe the class at work let's go at your work here and I am observing you would like to print a light brown quattro 
over that deep red of the tie-dye. Do you foresee any problem knowing that from previous knowledge, a lighter color will probably not cover the darker color? So, I feel the, 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 the red dye is going to end up showing through the um, like wrong on the quad through. It goes show true, yeah. How do you believe we can solve that problem? Oh, well, you see up by me, they're building a house. And I was watching them painters and them good. And I see that um, when they done plaster the wall, they put on a white primer. Now what? You know, they put on a white primer first. And then like a day later, when it dry good, then they come and they put on the, the coat of the real paint of the house. So... What I'm going to do here is put on that white first and let it work as a primer and then dry it and then put on the color of the quattro which could be the light brown. Good, go ahead. Roshni and Ronaldo, come to the front and let us hear about your piece, please. Good day, class. I am Roshni Ramnaran, and it is me and Ronaldo that did this piece together. We stuck to the Trini Christmas motif. So, you see, I use the word motif, eh? Um, I do sorrel. And my mommy and auntie and all of them, does make all kind of sorrel items and sell when it's Christmas time now, sir. We just make sorrel drink, sorrel wine, sorrel jam, sorrel kuchla, sorrel ice cream, anything, anything to do with sorrel, we just make. Um, so I know it's Christmas by me when I see sorrel coming in season and the whole house is be smelling up as sorrel. So I make a sorrel design and I repeat it and I create unity and balance. Um, so you see, I use the word um, um, repeat pattern. Eh? And it was done with the dry brushing technique of blending, where I blended a dark red into red and highlights and so on. Thank you. So, well, as you can see, this is me and Roshni piece. We come up with the concept of putting together sorrel and parang because so you see my father, my father does play quattro in a parang band now. And I know it's Christmas by me when I hear my father and friend and them start tuning up. He start tuning up the quattro and the box bass and thing now boy. So I put my father quattro and it have lines, shape, form, color and I put our next one on the other side so it'll balance now boy you know yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you oh that was excellent a really wonderful piece of work can we give a round of applause to Roshni and Ronaldo for presentation and a great piece of work all right everyone bell almost ready to ring so i'm going to give all you two minutes to clean up your little area today is thursday and everybody know on thursday roti coming for box lunch so i don't want anybody getting up and running out this class when bell ring to head down for box lunch eh? take two minutes pack away your stuff dump all the garbage in the bin and we're good to go hey hey so here now, this weekend Roshmi invite me to go up by them and pick sorrel and thing down on the field now. So I just wanted to find out. So you want some sorrel or? Eh? You want some sorrel or? Eh?